my new car, 14 plate, 1.6 TDI. Hello and welcome to another video. So welcome to the video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the video. I've got 460 odd um, subscribers. I've got I've done over 250,000 views. One thing I would suggest that anybody do when they get a car, unless you go into an actual, an actual proper dealership, as in like Audi dealership, BMW dealership, um, I would always suggest the, uh, depending when the MOT is due, I would always always suggest that you get your car fully serviced, even if it costs you a couple of hundred quid, because you don't know how that car has been treated. If the dealer, not the manufacturing dealer, if the dealership has actually serviced it like they say they've done, how well they serviced it, um, if there's any faults on the vehicle. Although you can go on the MOT checking website and check see if any faults have occurred and if it has been serviced or when the MOT expires. But this this uh, this car for about ten months, I haven't didn't have it serviced. My I bought this car off for fairly cheap, which I'm not I can't I can't um, complain. It's before before um, I got it, so my MOT is due in about in a few weeks. But you should always have your MOT done if you can about two weeks or so before it expires so if it does it does expire you can still drive it on the road you can get it repaired if any repairs need doing and it's still a valid MOT until it expires even if it even if it, um, it fails it says still ex it's still a valid until the expiry of the vehicle happens so you could your MOT could fail and then but because you've still got a valid MOT until say two weeks later or ten days later, you can still technically drive it because it's still a valid MOT, fully serviced. Because I thought I would rather be sure in my own mind that it's serviced and, and MOT'd. So I've been to uh, get it serviced and MOT today, and I also the AC unit didn't um, stop working. So I asked them um, if they can check it, gas, get it regassed. They said it's got an issue. This has got a suspected leak because it was completely out of gas. And usually, when it um, usually when uh, you get re gas, there's always still a little bit of gas in there. But so apparently, there's absolutely no gas at all. So that might cost a bit. I've got to go to. They said they I have to go to a specialist, an Audi specialist. Good luck trying to find one of them. So I've got to get that sorted out very very soon. Um, obviously until then I'm just going to have to keep open my windows which isn't that bad, that bad of a job AC does eat a lot of fuel and with the cost of living AC isn't really that important I've never, I don't really use it very often I just open the windows or put, put the put the uh, cooling system there onto cold like it currently is but the AC doesn't work at the minute you press it the light comes on and it just doesn't work but and I would also suggest, especially with diesels, the, the mechanic said to me, with diesels you should always get the oil from the manufacturer or what the, rec what the rec manufacturer recommends you use because with diesels, you put the wrong oil or the rub or rubbish oil, you're going to have problems. So basically today I've had a proper full service animal tea and yes, it has passed, which is good. So I don't have to do it now for another or just over a year now which is great but I have got the issue with the AC doesn't work and it's really annoying because now I've got to find somewhere and get it diagnosed and get it fixed there we go MOT's passed full service completed stripped cleaned greased adjusted and rebuilt brakes all around I doubt that has actually happened lights and level checked adjusted where required tyre pressure checked adjusted where required I doubt it um but well, they've done a full service, so it should actually probably do better, probably with with the fuel as well. I hope. Um, apparently, they've done a. Here's the quality they've done. They've, they've done oil filter, an air filter apparently, which is down there. They've done engine oil, which that I don't know if that is it is, but they said it's it cost unit price subtotal thirty three quid. The oil is the most expensive thing because, like I said, the oil has to be proper oil. 
screen wash they've done. Don't know why they've done that. Consumer bulbs, which I guess is just like nuts and bolts. Oil filter cost eight pound. Air filter, which obviously keeps kept lets the nice clean air get into the engine to cool it up. The oil is has been done. I guess it doesn't have spark plugs in in a um, in a diesel engine because usually if you ask for full service, they change the spark plugs, but they haven't done that. So I don't know what what they've actually done apart from those things. But the subtotal has cost me the, the service part service charge is ninety quid. 65 quid, 65 quid in in part labor or oh, MOT was 40 quid and the rest was, altogether it was 224.97 now i thought that um it would cost uh, it would cost more because they said it would be 250 plus anything else it's 224 which to be honest that's not a bad thing to, to make sure to know your car is going to be in perfect condition it's going to be amazing and you can't complain because that's what's going to get you to work to earn more money. So when people go somewhere to get a cheaper, to cheap, a cheaper deal for services and MLTs, etc., it's not always worth going cheap because sometimes you go cheap and it's not done properly. They might put the crappy spark plugs in, crappy oil, crappy air filters, crappy oil filters. If you're gonna, this, the, these vehicles that you that you drive in your cars are basically, if you if your vehicle breaks down, you can't get to work, or you don't realise how when you lose a car, you can't go anywhere. Thankfully, I've got a, I've got a, a motorbike and I've got a bicycle, so I don't always need my car. You should always service your car as well before you have got MOT because it's got fresh oil. The emissions will be clean, the air will be clean. So when they push it for the MOT, you will have old oil in there. It'll be perfect. When your car breaks down, you got to find a replacement or find a way, or you have to find to get a bus into work or whatever. Me, I'm a freelancer, so I have to go. So I go here, then everywhere. I go, don't be cheap. Go proper on your car. The problem is, is the problem I've got arising now. Like I said, is the AC unit, the air conditioning unit, isn't working. It's not a massive issue, but it is an issue that I, that I'm not happy with. I need to sort that out because. I was so happy when I got it in again. This car is is going to be good. I am going to do a few things, cars, and that is something else I need to want you want you to tell. Having my windows tinted first because it's about 150 quid something like that to have my windows tinted, and I think privacy glass is good, especially for the summer when it gets hotter. You want a bit of coolness in your car. You don't want to get in and you'd be sweating your bollocks off straight away. I'm also looking at new wheels. I post up some cutaways of my wheels currently. I'm putting new wheels on it. I'm trying to find some actual Audi wheels. I don't want aftermarket. I want actually I'm trying to do OEM. So I'm going to put some actual wheels on it that are nice because I don't like these current wheels. So let me know what size you think I should go for. Um, so that's the issue with my car at the minute, AC unit. But like everything, when you go for an MOT, you always shit yourself, don't you? Because you think, oh, is it going to fail? If it's going to fail, what's it going to cost me? This time it didn't fail, which I'm glad. So basically, to make sure your car is in tip-top condition, don't cheap out. Effect. That's what I'm going to. That's what the message of today of today's video is. Don't cheap out on your vehicle because your vehicle is what makes you makes you money effectively. Because if you can't get to work, you can't get you can't earn money in some ways. Um, your opinion on my car? Do you think it's good? I've never had a, a, a diesel car before. This is my first ever diesel car in. It affected the 20, nearly 21 years of driving. It's my first diesel car I've ever had, and I might continue with it because it is good for fuel at the minute. And let's see if this, if this new thing. I've also had the light has gone off the dashboard because usually when you when you take the actual ignition out, see if I take it out now. Take it, oh, it's not. You take the ignition out or you turn it off, and it usually goes inspection due. It's been like that since my, since I got the car. Really annoying me. I kind of miss it to be honest. But it's um, always been. I'm going to be. Um, I'm quite happy it's gone off, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's, it's had an inspection. It's MLT. It's MLC. It's just got this problem, which is very, kind of annoying. And you kind of clickbaity. I'm sorry. Um, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Let me know down below what you think of the video. And uh, I'll see you all soon for hopefully another video. And uh, I'll leave you with a. Uh, with some happy thoughts, basically. My uh, my car is up and running and ready to go, so that's good. So see you later, bye bye.